Okay, here we are in lesson number two. We're going to talk about user groups. Um, user groups are defined in the tab that's right below individual users. But before we go there, I just want to make you aware of something. If you look here in the middle of the page on the users, the individual user page, you'll see the user groups that people are assigned to. In this case, these three users are assigned to the same user group. Those user groups are permissions. So we're going to move on to the user groups and we're going to discuss the different user groups that we have. Uh, and these are default user groups. Now a user group can be customized to be anything that you'd like it to be within the, the feature sets that fall into those particular permissions pages. So uh, as an example, we usually make an operator user group. So I'm going to make a new user group for you and I'm going to hit new. I'm going to add the name operator. And you'll notice she set or he said whoever sits there will be fully featured internal only. We want to make that person not restricted and we're going to give them a large mailbox. So what this does is it allows you to change their class of service options as well as giving them access to whatever, these are your telephone lines here, so we're going to give them access to the primary PRI which is your normal dial tone and some analog backups. If for any reason you had multiple sites you could have other dial tone down here, you could have a PRI um, from another site, you could have another set of analog lines and you could give people access to those telephone lines as a failover. Um, in the event that if your main line were to go down, the failover line were, were not to work either, they could then dial out through another uh, system. This would be again in a networked environment where there's two multiple sites uh, other than just the primary site. So you can see it's very simple to uh, create a user group, uh, then assign the features. So fully featured, again we could go into minimally or partially featured uh, restrictions. We can set the restrictions here and we uh, set what type of mailbox are going to be using. So I save that and once I've saved that I can go back to my individual users and I can go to the operator and now I can change that user group right here to be an operator. So now she is an independent uh, user group from the other uh, executives. So if I save that, I'm going to go back to the individual users. And you see now you have two people here, uh, Barb and John, that are, are executives. And you see the operator actually is in the, in the operator user group. And again, that's important as you deny or allow features on the system that you have individual user groups for those uh, people so that you can restrict or allow those particular features uh, that you need. And that's pretty, pretty straightforward. I think that's, uh, that's about it for this, uh, this training session as well. So we'll move on to the next lesson. Thank <laughs> you.